walking into Toys R Us with Andy. Hi, um, guys. Looking for lightsabers and Star Wars toys, and I don't want to grow up. They sell toothbrushes with names on them. They'll never have my name. You don't need that. <laughs> Are you sad? What the heck's this? Harley wanted whatever was here. <laughs> Why do I always get stuck toy shopping with you? And you never ever ever want to go shopping with me. I'm gonna replace you with one of these. Check out this, guys. Sam Jackson? This would be my porno name if I were a porn star. Slam you well, Jackson. <laughs> Slam you well, Jackson. I like it, I like it a lot. So I thought about something and I wanted to address it really quickly. Um, you know clickbait, clickbait thumbnails and stuff like that? Uh, people would say that I do that, but I'm here to debate that I don't actually do clickbait. Because what I do is I use a thumbnail that sets the tone for the video. Or I use a thumbnail that actually includes something in the video. Basically what I'm saying is, is clickbait is standard. It's not just clickbait. It doesn't automatically become clickbait because you wanted to click it. Well in this case, I'm enticing you to click my video. So then when you watch it, you'll see how dope it is. So I have to use an equally as dope thumbnail to demonstrate how dope my video is gonna be. Now this is something that's you know pretty standard in every industry. Not just YouTube, it's standard in film as well. So I'm gonna use this one example to prove my point and hopefully you understand. You guys can go find plenty of other examples as well. It's not clickbait, it's just marketing. Here's the poster for Star Wars A New Hope. It came out in 1977. Now this is the poster that they got, you know, in uh, American movie theaters to say, hey, this badass movie is coming out and uh, you should watch it. If they had a shot of Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan sitting in Obi-Wan's little Tatooine condo, you wouldn't really want to see that movie. There's like a hundred X-Wings right here. There are a hundred X-Wings. You never see that many X-Wings on screen the entire time. I'm not going to be a dickhead and say, oh, I expected a gigantic man who was a thousand feet tall. I'm not going to comment on the Darth Vader thing. That's just being art there, okay? Luke Skywalker is wearing a mix of a Stormtrooper costume and this badass white version of whatever he wears on Tatooine. Luke Skywalker was 17 years old or something when they made this movie, okay? He is not ripped like that. He was not chiseled like this. He was a young man with a little boy body and never once do you see him hold up a lightsaber like he's Jesus Christ of the Force with his pecs on display like that with Princess Leia wearing exactly what she's wearing right now. She never even wears what she's wearing in this picture. And lastly, you never get to see that shot. You never see her by Luke's side with Luke holding up the lightsaber like he's Jesus of the Force. You never get that. And that's because this is just setting the tone for the movie. So it's not like I'd walk out of the movie and be like, fuck you and your clickbait. That's not clickbait. My thumbnails are not clickbait. I don't lie in them. I just set a tone. I just try and entice you to click it. And to all the people that are like, yo, I already watch your videos, man. You ain't got to click clickbait a brother. Yo, I'm not typing in all caps for you, homie. I know you're going to be here. I'm, ty I'm typing in all caps for your buddy's dad who didn't know how fucking dope I was at the vlog game and I'm trying to entice him to come in into the video and see how dope his favorite YouTuber is. Well, his soon to be favorite YouTuber. So, it's not for you. It's for other people out there. I just wanted to make that point, okay? Hit me up in the comments section. You know what you kind of look like? What? Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Very Fred Flintstone. Oh right man, and you could do this to the nightgowns if you buy them. You could, nightgowns? Yeah, I was saying I should just buy female nightgowns, and I was saying that they'll never make them thick enough for mm, me. They might, if you go into like a Chanel well, or something. This, if you had the Should I be a Chanel model? Should I be the new Chanel model? I don't know, your arm looks really big right now. Chanel. He's really weird, okay. Can we see what Hold Amir on, got wait, us? What do you mean my arm looks big? Which your one? arm looks, well, I hope both of them, <laughs> if one of them well, does. Like what angle? Like, what I Not when you're doing that. Where is They're big. Does it make me look big? I think he will. Okay, babe, let's go. Does See it make it. Me look big I'm like really this? interested in the dessert oh, yeah, that Amir right. has Amir brought has us. For us. Wait, first of all, guys, I did this with the cuffs of the shirt because I don't give a fuck. I did my own thing. Did you, did you, did you, did you say hello to da -da -da. the Dark Lord? Did you? Yeah, I did. 
Well, he's not really the Dark Lord. He aspires to be. He aspires to be the Dark Lord. You still didn't open Obi. You aspire to be the Dark Lord. Oh, guys, look. What Harley got me. Harley got you that? He sent them to me at work today. Isn't it cute? Harley got you that? Why are you acting like you don't know? I'm sitting on my house. I don't trust this motherfucker. I don't trust you! Did you know? Did you know that they sell these there? What is that? A hot dog? Is this a chili cheese dog? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> they sell them the Dairy Queen. Why? It smells like a foot. Oh, oh no. okay, that's gross. <laughs> Smell it. It smells so strange. <laughs> Thanks, Amir. Is there a hot dog in there? I don't know, man. Oh no, it's just pure chili. Oh really? No, there's a hot dog in there. I'm confused. I pulled. You like... want to bite, Andy? Okay. I did three legal minutes. But what will we eat? Is it good? Maybe just because I'm mad hungry. But I'm down to take a second bite. To see you fucking weird dog. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay, I want a little bite. Mimi step in, almost step in your poo poo. Almost step in your poo poo. Is that you pushing away the hot dog? Carbonara! <laughs> hey, una Coca Cola! What, what happened is in Toronto yeah. or in the States, the Dairy Queens sell hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Good ones. And hot dogs. Ow, good, babe, good, my good, butt. good hamburgers and hot dogs. So what happened is I drove by this Dairy Queen on St. Charles that people said that is new. Mm -hmm. And then I drove by, I saw something that looked like a burger. So I pulled illegal U-turns, this, that, I'm pulling the drink. Even the person in the Dairy Queen looked at me like, who is this guy and why does he need ice cream so fucking bad? I Tussie, walk in what do there, you think about that? I walk in there <laughs> and uh, I'm like, oh, those aren't burgers. She's like, no, they're just like chicken sandwiches. And I'm like, well, I feel really... How much were the hamburgers there? Well, there's no hamburgers. It's oh. a lie. I couldn't just walk in there and like, they were all excited. Like, oh, we got business. We could do something. So I said, okay, I'll get the chili dog. Maybe Sauce Boss will want a chili dog. We got a chili dog, but Dairy Queen is actually known for the flame thrower burger. It's like a hot, spicy burger. We don't got it in Montreal, sorry. I've seen that we on, don't the, have it. on the on the on the internet. Everything is the internet in my life. Um, the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we just don't have them here. So I thought we had them. We don't. Carbonara. <laughs> hey, una Coca Cola. Carbonara. Wait, let me film you. Don't act like you can eat that chili dog not on camera. The internet needs that, girl. Fuck, I almost did it again. Damn you, pussy. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog and she's Tails now because we're eating a chili dog together. I'm Rondi Sonic. You be Tails. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. I'm the big fast boy. You're yeah, a little dum dum. Tails is hairier than Sonic, so let's just give him I don't know about that. Yeah, he is. I got invited to this birthday and I completely forgot to get a gift. Andy didn't remind me. So Shame on her. So I'm just gonna bust the old, uh, hey, happy birthday, just emailed you your gift. Amazon money or some shit, I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Why can't I get one? So, uh, I got one. Left the party right now, and if you listen really carefully, it sounds intense in there. Relax that attitude. So, you know, me and Andy actually don't go out that often, to be honest with you. We're hibbly bibbly. I said it. There you go. Thank you for saying hibbly bibbly. You're welcome. Hello. How you been? Oh, that's a cute answer. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Hi. 